fantastic beast straight out of Harry Potter to the rarely seen ghost shark. This is Trending Tuesdays. Number seven, the next time you look up in the sky, it might not be a bird that you see, but a drone. A new device has been bio-inspired, that is, the drone makers had in their creation after the skeletal structure and musculature of birds. The remote-controlled drone has eight artificial feathers and can open or close its wings while flying. That's said to make the machine wind-resistant and highly maneuverable, meaning it's more effective in navigating city landscapes where wind patterns can frequently change. Like its avian inspiration, the adaptable drone is capable of flying at high speeds, managing sharp corners, and negotiating the tight spaces of an urban environment. A strange booming sound has been detected by a hydrophone in the Mariana Trench. At over 36,000 feet or over 11 kilometers, a distance that's deeper than the height of Mount Everest from the water's surface, researchers have named it the Western Pacific Biotwang. It includes deep moaning sounds and lasts up to three and a half seconds. But the sound is still unidentified. Experts note that the hydrophone can detect the sound of earthquakes that occur in the ocean's crust as well as typhoons, and even noise from the surface such as wind and waves from seven miles above. They say that the deepest parts of the ocean are not necessarily quiet. There's constant noise created by man-made and natural sources. The best guess for the Western Pacific biotwang seems to be some new, previously unknown type of whale call. The low-frequency moaning is not unlike the sounds made by baleen whales. One mystery, though, is that baleen whale calls are usually made during mating season, but the biotwang was recorded throughout the year. Do bugs make you sick? Researchers have found that could be true, literally. A recent study by the University of Sydney indicates the common insects and spiders that inhabit our homes might serve as hosts to almost 1,500 diseases. Illnesses like the common flu were among the diseases discovered to be hosted by the creatures. But even though mosquitoes can transmit the Zika virus and dengue fever, most diseases hosted by the small critters don't transfer easily to humans. It's thought that the cause of certain human diseases like Lyme disease might be determined by techniques used in this research. Did you know that more than 160 previously unknown creatures have been discovered in the forests of Southeast Asia? And that was in the past year alone. Among the amazing discoveries is an animal that looks like it was beamed in from Star Trek. It's a newt, which has ridges along its body that invited comparisons to the Klingons found in the movies and TV series. It's also called a crocodile newt, thanks to those ridges. The creature was among nine amphibians newly discovered in the greater Mekong region, which spans from Cambodia to Thailand to southern China, an area approximately the size of France. Along with the Klingon-like newt, another creature with a famous face was found in the region. This one is a snake with a red and blue pattern on its face that some find evocative of David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust persona. Named after a nearby stream, Rego Grande is a mysterious megalithic stone circle that was discovered in Brazil in the late 19th century. But excavations on the monument didn't start until 2005. 127 granite blocks, each of which stands up to 14 feet tall and weighs several tons. The blocks are positioned upright in a circle that measures over 98 feet across. Urns found at the site suggest it may have functioned as a cemetery. Experts also theorize that the so-called Amazon on Stonehenge may have been a place of worship or used for various ancient rituals. It's also possible the location was used for astronomical observations. The irregularly shaped stones appear arranged to coincide with the winter solstice. Researchers place the age of Rego Grande at around a thousand years old or about 500 years prior to European colonization of the Americas.
Of course, nature is known for its magic. Well, it seems a tiny spider newly discovered in India managed to conjure up a neat trick itself. It bears an uncanny resemblance to the sorting hat from Harry Potter. Fans will recognize the sorting hat as belonging to Godric Gryffindor, one of the founders of the Hogwarts school. In fact, the resemblance is so great that the arachnid has been named after the character. The spider is a nocturnal critter and measures only 7 millimeters long. The hat-like shape is really the creature's sub-triangular abdomen. The shape and color helps keep the arachnid camouflaged among dry, dead leaves, so that way predators won't see it while it sleeps during the day. The newly discovered spider earned an approved tweet from J.K. Rowling herself. Ghost Shark Footage of an incredibly rare ghost shark was captured recently in waters off of California and Hawaii, and experts say that's more than 6,000 kilometers from where they're normally found. The pointy-nosed animal, identified as a blue ratfish, has never been observed in the wild, and only one has ever been caught. That was in 2002 near Australia, New Caledonia, and New Zealand. Six of the animals were spotted by a remote-operated vehicle over 1,600 feet below the surface. Experts say they still still need to catch one of the creatures to test its DNA to see if they might belong to an entirely new species of chimera fish. Did you know, the ratfish is noted for having gonads on the foreheads that are retractable, but it's not known exactly what their purpose might serve. This is Trending Tuesdays.